now after drawing the beam we need to define the material property and the section and property so basically the material property is going to be the grade of concrete we are going to use for the beam and the uh, grade of steel that is the rebar we are going to use uh, for reinforcement and the session property is basically the size of the beam so first of all we are going to define the material so now to define the material we need to go to define so you click on define then we need to go to material as you can see over here so click on material so now as you can see we already have um two materials here so basically sub 2000 um uh, automatically generate and uh, two materials for you so this 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 one is for the concrete that is 4000 psi so this is basically the grade of the concrete while this one is for the uh, rebar so if you want to add a new uh, material so if you let's say if you have um, um another material you want to use you can uh, just click on add new material so in this uh, les in this uh, lesson, I'm just I'm going to use this 4,000 uh, psi. So basically, 4,000 psi is the grade of the concrete. So if you have a new material, just click on add new material. Then the region basically uh, we are we are going to be using uh, ACI code. So this is the region is in United States. So we will choose United States. Then the material type is concrete. So you click on concrete. So as you can see, we have different material type. So, because we want, we want the uh, grade of concrete, we click on concrete. The standard is uh, customary. The grade, the grade of um, concrete. So we have different grade of concrete here. So basically, we are just going to go with a uh, four thousand psi because this is a normal weight concrete. So you click on this. So if you if you have an uh, other grade of concrete, so let's say you want to go for uh, for let's say high uh, strength uh, concrete, you can click on six thousand psi. So if you want to go for lightweight concrete, so you can click on this. So I'm just going to click on normal normal with concrete. Click on normal with concrete and click on OK. So as you can see, basically the uh, this is the same. This 4000 psi with this, it is it is the same. I created bit I created this because I just wanted to show you how it is done. Like how if you want to create a new material. So to modify this, you can just click on modify show material. So let's say if you want to change anything here, you can just uh, you can change any uh, value you want here. So if you have a lightweight concrete, you can click on this. Then you need to input your shear strength reduction factor because this is not a lightweight concrete; it is a normal weight concrete. So you need to deactivate this. So if you want to change the name of this, so let's say we want to call this um, let's say four thousand let's say four thousand psi concrete. So you can call this 4000 psi concrete so now this is the modulus of elasticity this is the Poisson ratio and this is the coefficient of thermal exp um, expansion so you can change this parameter but i think this is okay you click on okay so now you can also uh, add um, the rebar so click on add new material basically this is the rebar but i'm just going to show you guys uh, uh, if you want to add the rebar how you can do it so click on add new material then this is united states then material type instead of concrete it is going to be rebar and uh, now don't confuse this for steel so basically this and uh, steel is for uh, steel and uh, buildings like an uh, i session w session and, and others so don't confuse this we are going to uh, choose the rebar because this is going to be used for reinforcement so click on rebar then it's going to ask you the standard so basically we'll, we'll just go with uh, astm uh, a615 then it's going to ask you the grade of rebar so basically we'll go with grade 60 and click on ok so now you can modify this click on modify show material then so now you can change this so let's say we call this grade grade 60 rebar you can also change these parameters here but i'm going to leave these parameters like this then click on ok so if you don't want this you can click on this then delete this delete material click on yes so click on ok so now let's define the session property so to define the session property you need to go to define so now we need to go to session property then we need to go to frame session so click on frame session so now we need to add a new property so we need to click on add new property 
then now we need to select from this drop down uh, list we select this then we need to click on concrete because we need to define the session property of the beam which is made of uh, concrete so click on concrete so now we have different type we have rectangular circular pipe tube trapezoidal precast pre precast i session and precast and u session so basically this is just um, a rectangular beam so we click on rectangular so now you can name uh, you can name this so let's say we call this beam so now you can add in uh, the session here yeah? so you can add the you can you can add the dimensions of this beam so this is the depth and why this is the width so the basically the depth is always uh, greater than the width of the beam so let's say we choose the depth as 1.5 feet so this is 1.5 feet while the width is 0 0.8 so let's say this is 0 0.8 5 feet so the depth is 1.5 feet while the width is 0 0.85 feet you can change this later if you analyze and design the beam and you find out that the beam uh, fit you can increase the depth so for the now we are going to stick with this the depth is 1.5 feet while the width is 0 0.85 uh, feet so now as you can see the material here is um, 4000 psi concrete so it is okay so now let's check the concrete reinforcement click on concrete reinforcement so click on beam so now as you can see this is the uh, concrete cover so the, the so the top cover is uh, 0 0.208 theory uh, uh, feet while the bottom cover is 0 0.208 and uh, theory uh, uh, feet so i think this is okay so you you can you can leave this like this then click on okay then click on okay so we click on so click on this then click on okay